Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So because you guys love my three simple ways to fold a bath towel, I thought that I'll stay in the same arena and show you guys how to fold a washcloth. So in today's video, I'll be showing you three simple ways to fold a washcloth. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the washcloth we'll be folding today is this very simple washcloth. I think I purchased it from Target. I think it came in six packs for about $2.99 or $3.99. I'll definitely leave the link below if you're interested. So the first folding technique we'll be doing is a very simple and basic fold. So this is a fold that I like to do for the washcloth in my home. It's very simple. It literally probably takes like two seconds and I am gonna show you now. <laughs> so the first thing you need to do is to lay your washcloth flat on a flat surface. You probably already know this because that is what I always say when it comes to folding. Of course, when you start to become an expert at folding, you will no longer need to use a flat surface. You can actually either use your lap or you can also fold in the air. I know, yes, I can fold in the air if I really wanted to, but if you want a crisp fold, it's important that you use a flat surface. With that said, place your washcloth on a flat surface like so. Next, what you're gonna do is take the bottom of the washcloth and you're going to fold it up, meeting the top portion of the washcloth. Last but not least, you're gonna take the left side of the washcloth and you're gonna literally fold it in half like so. And then once you're done, you'll have this really cute little square. What I like to do is to file stack my washcloths in a bin and whenever I'm ready for it, I just pull it out with ease. So the next folding technique we'll be doing requires a bit more folding, but it's still really simple. All right, as before, you should lay your washcloth on a flat surface. And what you're gonna do is to bring the bottom portion of your washcloth to about two thirds of the entire washcloth, like so. Next, you're gonna take the top portion of the washcloth and you're gonna fold that over the fold you just did. And what you're creating is this rectangle, very slim rectangle. Next, you're gonna take the left side of the washcloth and you're going to fold that over twice, like so, creating this very cute little square. Again, you can file stack your washcloths in a bin so it's really easy to grab. You can also stack your washcloths on top of each other inside of a bin so that they're also easy to grab. Like I said, it just takes a bit more folding but it's still really simple. So the last folding technique will be a roll. So, as before, Make sure you lay your washcloth flat on a flat surface like so. But if you do have a washcloth that does have a tag, you may want to remove it now or make sure that the tag portion is facing up because when you do roll it, you don't want the tag to be sticking out. Once you have it on the flat surface, what you're going to do is kind of turn your washcloth around clockwise or counterclockwise to where a point or a corner of your washcloth is facing you like so once you do that you're then going to take that corner the bottom corner and you're going to bring it to the top corner creating a triangle once that's done you're going to grab the top portion of that triangle and bring it to the fold creating an isosceles let me know in the comment section below if you remember learning about isosceles trapezoids <laughs> so once that's done you're going to then flip it over so that that so that the fold is facing down. So next, what you're gonna do is to turn your washcloth over to where the left corner is facing you. Then you're going to start rolling. So I would suggest that you roll up tightly because the goal is to make sure it doesn't unravel once it's placed in its destination. So, like I said, you're gonna start rolling up. Very tight, very tight, very tight. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. I need to remind myself sometimes. <laughs> And then with the remaining piece, because at this point you can't really roll anymore, you can just tuck that in this area. And then you are done and you have this really cute roll. It's so cute, look at that. I can literally throw it at someone and it won't unravel. That's how tight this is. <laughs> All right, guys, these are just three simple ways to fold a washcloth. Of course, there are many techniques to folding a washcloth, but these are just three simple ways I like to use in my home or in my client's home. So let me know in the comment section below 
which technique you like the best. Let me know in the comment section below. All right, you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.